Good morning and welcome back. I was actually running over to my stopping grounds and I saw these laying here as I drove by and these will be aluminum doors on top of a, what looks like a fire ant in hell. Awesome. But I wouldn't normally have picked these up because they've got a lot of glass and the yard does not take them with the, all the glass. But when I broke one down a couple of weeks ago, they end up weighing a significant amount. And they're flat and they're aluminum. And these ended up being about $9 worth of aluminum. So, I've decided in the future that if I see them, I'm going to take them because they are a worthwhile venture. I'm just hoping this isn't a fire ant hill underneath here. It's looking very anti. And it is. I'm gonna make sure all our ants are off of this. This tells me these have been here for a little bit. Make sure we got all our hands off of here. So the last thing you want to do is put a pile of fire ants in your car, right? For one more, one more tamp when we get over here. Just to make sure. I think we got all the curders. Yeah, we are. So I did make it to the e-waste yard this weekend like I said I was gonna try to it was quite an adventure that is the yard that pays nine fifty nine nine and a half cents for or nine fifty per hundred on steel um, it was a very interesting very busy yard so I took my e-waste up there I had it separated the guy in the parking lot said, you need to put your stuff into our buckets so you know what the tear weight is. And I said, okay. I said, now I, I need to keep them separated by type. He's like, oh, we only pay one price for e-waste. I'm like, okay. So I dumped all my low grade in first, put the mid grade in second, and then put the high grade on top. And then I had to wait in a long line to uh, check out and the guy when I get to the front I'm like you only pay one price for the boards he's like oh no we do it separate I'm like well I just mixed everything together in the parking lot because the guy said you only did paid one price he's like well I'm trying to he's like I'm actually the e-waste guy I'm trying to teach the guys how to you know rate and all this kind of stuff and he's like I'll try to help you out here so we had to kind of like semi sort out of the big bucket it was in and it makes a big difference because for high grade boards they pay a buck fifty a pound mid grade boards was a dollar a pound and low grade was just 15 cents a pound so i didn't want to get paid 15 cents when i could get a dollar and a half so we ended up going through i had roughly nine pounds of high nine pounds of mid and like 60 pounds of low it ended up being 25 bucks um i'm kind of realizing that it certainly pays more than shred so it's not that big of a pain to tear it apart but um it makes me um, think that i i might want to second guess um what i'm doing on that because it does take a while to get to that yard but also when i went to the when i went there to begin with the guy and the shred was like, I'm like, yeah, it takes it takes tolls to get over here. And he says, you like, you can just take this road. It's a couple minutes longer. I'm like, yeah, that does make sense. But it is it is still a 20 minute ride. So um, we'll have to see how things go. Um, you know, whether I want to you know go for that extra two and a half cents. But at this point, this yard I'm working with, they're good people, um, and it's certainly convenient. So they're going to continue to get my business. So, okay, let's uh, stop rambling and get on with the day here. That was an unexpected stop. And uh, we'll work our way over here to our stopping grounds. And uh, hopefully today is a wonderful scrapping day. If not, it's a wonderful day out 
it's already uh, up to 70 and we're gonna get into the almost 80 today but it's clear it's beautiful there's no rain it was super foggy this morning but that is burnt off so we will uh, run around and see what the day gives imagine that we're gonna start off with a TV never seen one of these before <laughs> Is it going to be another TV day? I'm telling you, everybody plans on getting new TV sets for Christmas this year. I'm pretty sure of it. Because TVs have been a dime a dozen. But they are nice and flat. So we'll take TVs all day long. Also want to let you know, in case anybody's wondering, I did get Christmas up this weekend. So I know I'm a procrastinator when it comes to things like that so if I've got my stuff out the lights should definitely be out this week if they weren't out already unless I missed them the week I was off so we're hoping to find some extra Christmas oh this neighborhood neighborhood's gonna be good to me look at this we're gonna get ourselves a freezer while we're empty we'll take this all day long the only problem is, is that in the taking a ton of space, that one actually looks in pretty nice shape, too. Oosh! I'm just gonna figure out how to situate this in here so it doesn't steal my real estate. So, let's see what we got to do here to still be able to use this space. How do we do that? We buy a trailer! <laughs> I think what we do. Since the hinge is on that side, you're going to come over here to this side, like such. And then you're going to come in here like this, if we need to. Oh, come on, don't be too tall. Almost too tall with those doors in there. And then, sneak that door open. There's new space. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the butt later, but it's pretty nice anyways, and that one actually might even work. Might have to do a taste test on that one first. Alrighty. Continuing to give the bigs, man. Got ourselves. Uh, I think that's a thing for a boat. A couple of microwaves. You can squeeze this cut the cord off of this so you don't forget actually we can micro scrap that I don't know I don't know I don't know I've been getting the transformers and the mag magnetrons out of these things I just gotta decide whether I do that or not there we go let's utilize the space here let's leave this here got one more this one's bigger. This is an over the stove unit. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you're heavy. You heavy. You a heavy one. Oh. These big heavy ones are the ones you really want to get those out of. I don't know. We'll see what the day brings and we'll make a judgment call from there. We're getting some nice stuff already. We are early, early in the day. And here we go with awkward. What's in the bag? The bag is not metal. The bag we will leave behind. need you to get around that refrigerator so you can make the turn here. Here we go. Here we go. That's going to cause some problems. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, we'll see what happens. 
we get some Christmas in a box. The question is, are they lights? Oh, look at that. It's got the whole box. Might have to check and see if that's a resellable unit. We'll put you up front for now. This is the whole box, a health and fresh system. We got lights here, or we just got garland. It's a tree. It's a full-fledged tree. Here's some lights. See, here's the Christmas. Here's all the people that put their stuff out late. We got some Santa hats, which we don't want. Got ourselves a tarp. Ooh, a bag of Christmas lights. You can go in there and we'll take the bag. Extra bulbs. You guys are a no-go. You're a go. You're a stay. Christmas lights can slide in here. Oh, come on, big boy. Come on out of that box. Come on, I know you want to. Ooh, two parts. All right, there we go. You can go back up there. Another bag of lights. Ooh. Another bag of lights. Ooh, this could be our Christmas day. All oh, the slackers decorated this weekend. We might even have one more weekend for the super slackers. But we'll take these ones. All right. Let's keep going. Not sure if this box has a big old printer in it or not. We're gonna take a gander. Hopefully it's not just a box. Oh, it's got pillows in it. Even worse than a box that would be empty. Oh well. Alrighty. So this weird thing is I keep finding these vacuum containers. No vacuums or cords, but there's other scrap left behind. It's just kind of weird. Old school webcam. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So weird that the vacuums are out there like that. There's a lot of other stuff left behind. I'm confused. Maybe they're just a vacuum guy. Not sure. Generally, the vacuum guy is just at cords. And if they're a vacuum fixer, why would they need the, the canisters? Not sure. Not sure. All right, here we got ourselves some more Christmas. This is all the Christmas stuff that was supposed to be out last week. It was not out for this week. Look at that. Eat. Eat all the Christmas. I got a white tree now. Got a green tree. A white tree. You get a red tree, a blue tree. That plastic can stay. Just want the trees. Do you want to take those rake heads? Are you metal? Uh, nope, you're plastic. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, it's a spoon. It must have go with the eat. Eat. <laughs> Nothing left behind. Uh, 
All right, I'm coming back to look at these. I think these are gonna stay. If I had a trailer, they would go. But they're looking very steelish, and they're looking like they're gonna kill my back of my truck. And they are steel. It's top steel too. Yes. Those are just not gonna be space space conscious. So we're leaving them. One for the chairs, none for the nacho. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Nice big fat treadmill that I can't take. Whoa. We're gonna take a look at this other stuff though. Ooh. Holy Toledo, you kidding me. The other day, I don't know if you, I'm sure most of you guys also watch. Mr. Scrap and Pallet Man, he got one of these as well. Mine's not quite nicely as displayed as his, but he did get himself a chainsaw. And now we got one too. I don't, know ours. I don't think ours is quite as nice as his, but it is a craftsman. Can I take this treadmill? I got in here. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? I think it's just garbage. You know what? I think I won't take the cord though. I think I'll take the cord though. Make something out of nothing. Make something out of nothing. So, can't have the treadmill, but. We'll take the quarter. <laughs> Alrighty, let's continue. These people put out stuff every week and it never seems to pan out. It always seems to be just a bunch of stuff that I can't work with. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for them to hook me up one of these weeks. We got a little bit of Christmas. A little bit of Christmas. A little bit of Christmas. Oh, it's like a magic trick. <laughs> it just keeps coming. You're a little juicy. A little juicy. Put you on top of the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree can soak up your juice. Hey. <clears throat> McDonald's ice cream cone. Let's see if we got some more Christmas here. Where we just got boxes. I'm telling you, man, these are all the slackers. Slackers like me. Wait till the last possible minute to decorate. Actually, next week's the week where the real big slackers come out. Our Christmas pile up here is getting bigger and bigger. Bigger and bigger. And we're gonna be able to pack this stuff down. We're gonna have a Christmas fest going on here. All right. Let's keep plugging away and get this car full of Christmas. Oh, we got a Christmas vacuum cleaner. I'll just leave you in for that. Because we actually had the vacuum this time. The canister is unattached again. The vacuum's still there. Let's see, what do you think, cord? Or no cord is the question. And we've got cord. Yes. We got something over there too. Man, this is a nice little street. We'll take you. That's a shampooer versus a vacuum. the not start. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, look with my hair. Ah. 
garbage. Let's take a peek up here. It's not too far away. I can use the walk, right? Uh, what we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? We've got... I don't know. Some kind of oven. Oh, it's a deep fryer. Got a deep fryer. We got a pine cone on the dashboard, or the dash, side dash, whatever they're called. Running boards. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. See, leaving that freezer open like that was smart. I was learning. I was learning, learning, learning. Eventually, I'll have this stuff figured out. This house used to have a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. They've been kind of late the last couple of weeks. And we're super late today. Got a pumper that we don't need. That is wood. This is all we're gonna get this week. I don't think it's a filing cabinet frame, maybe. But, we'll take her. Uh, let's put up the Christmas trees. So you don't cause blockage. This can kind of just get stuffed in here like this and take up some of the weird little spaces. Alrighty. We got ourselves a pair of picking piles, and that one over there I think has an air conditioner in it. This one here has a lamp. What other kind of goodies we got in here? A dirty, a dirty uh, cooler. Come on, you can talk. What's in here? Pool noodles. This one feels kind of glassy. Let's saw what I got on her. Here they quadruple knotted this one. Holy macaroni, they wanted to keep this one closed. What are they hiding in here? Uh, a cord or two. Some nothings. Uh, that's all she wrote there, folks. Alright, let's sell it off so I got her. That's yeah, more pool stuff. <laughs> that that's <laughs> still on the running board. That's a Persistent little pine cone. Let's put you in the car since you really want to stay. There you go. Stay with your friends. Uh, which one didn't we check? We didn't check this one, right? Nope, that's plastic. All right, Mr. Lamp, you're coming. Mr. Lamp is coming. Should we check this real quick? Yeah, we should. You're feeling brassy. Let's check this one real quick. Stay. Stay right there, will you? Stay. You're not going to stay. Let's see what we got here. See if we got ourselves some brass. Come on, baby. No, steel, steel, and steel. It'll look brassy. Ay, 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 ay. Where's my brass at? You don't want to go in the back. So we'll put you with the Christmas trees then. Everybody wants to be with the Christmas trees. We'll put you down here like this. There you go. That's how it works, just like that. Stay. Good doggy. We're going to close this. I don't trust driving with that open. I'll end it with half my load in the street. Well, that was okay. Pretty nice to see that air conditioner. And I'm driving. Yes, I know it's only one house up, but that air conditioner will be heavy. Hopefully he's got some friends to stay with him. What kind of friends do we have here for you? What kind of friends do you have? Oh, it's nice they put it on that cart there for me too. Oh, we got a couple of 
umbrella. Umbrella looking thing about her. Here, so I remember we had a nice long cord. This is a playing piano. It is fun. Reminds me of Big. All right, that's all there right there, and our big old air conditioner. Gonna have to make some room for you, though, brother. You're gonna have to slide up there. You're gonna have to slide up here. Spot right there for you. Oh. Come on. Thank you. And that's all she wrote, folks. So I came down here because I was like, oh, those bikes are gonna go, and those bikes are. Do a bike rack. Morning, how are you? Can I get one? Uh... What's that? Oh, no. no, that's wood. It's no good for me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I know, but that's on a bike rack. So I'm not, I, my guess is they stole the whole bike rack and the bikes. <laughs> <laughs> too funny. I mean, if I had a, a trailer, I could consider maybe throwing the whole kit and caboodle on there, but that's just like one big unit, essentially. I don't know if the garage guys will take it with it being on that bike rack like that. It's the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen. I mean, how they, how do you even get that? Or is it like their personal locking things up? I, I don't know, I'm confused. We get all kind of oddities going on here. This is the house that's for sale that had that big honking chunk of aluminum that was like, I forget what it was marked. It was marked something different. But uh, it was like Bucky's Burners or something like that. And uh, so I'm not sure if we're going to continue to score here or not. <clears throat> But we'll take the oven. Looks like someone's been through these garbages already because there's holes in the bags. So someone's been kind of digging through here already, I guess. Packing tape. I'll take some packing tape. Yeah, I will. Packing tape's always good. Got a food dehydrator with some cordage. Let's see what's up here. Looks like a ton of chairs, and I think that's a like an inverter table. And those ones that turn you upside down, and you hang, and it relieves your back. 
I think this one chair over here might be the only thing we're getting now. Those are some pretty nice tomato racks though. I've been contemplating starting some tomatoes in my backyard. I might take these. They're nice big racks and they're in pretty good shape. They're not all rusted up. I just gotta figure out how to get them in my car without tearing everything up. Now one of the things that I learned, I believe it was from the apartment scrapper, he just steps on them and that's how you keep it from tearing up your car. Which would be great if I didn't want to try to reuse them. And that might be what's going to happen to them if I can't figure out how to gingerly add them to my vehicle. But I never even considered that before. Squishing them flat and then they don't tear up your car. I'm hoping I can set these in here without having to smush them though. Slide them in here. And I'll take them home. And I'll have some free tomato cages. Now remember, you're pushing this that way, that's not going to work. So, let's see. What are our other options? Pincho Magic 5000. Alright. Think. What are our other options? These are nice heavy duty tomato things, man. Ah, I got an idea, I think. Because I'm going to do this. Just watch out for the headliner. Oh, you're so smart. You're so smart. Oh, I got the tomato racks for the house. I would really like to get some tomatoes going this year. And those cages will come in super handy. I'm not sure what we got, but I know we've got at least a cord. It looks like a lot of garbage. Looks like a lot of garbage. Morning. Oh, well, I've got some DVDs and stuff down here, though. Are these all DVDs? Oh, wait, are they nice? Are these? I'm looking for CDs, not DVDs. Other DVDs probably sell. What do we got here? Let's see what we've got. Dire Straits. Blue Oyster. Me. This is good old school stuff. De La Soul. Ooh, look at that one. That one's really funky. Tribe called something. I don't know. That public ending one's awesome. Ugh, what else we got? Tiny music. Sound of pain. and chains. We got all kinds of stuff in here, but I'm not taking that. Tell me if I made a mistake, if I should have taken that. So someone's going to say, oh my gosh, that was awesome. You should have totally, <coughs> totally taken that. But I'm not. We have our spiral tree in here. We do. The spiral tree is coming. You're very light. And that's lotions and potions and stuff. What do I got in here? It looks like kids' toys. Oh, that one feels heavy. We gotta get this one open so we can take a peek see. What do we got in here? What's in the bag? Oh, it's heavy because it's all clothes. Right? I don't know. Got a box of silverware. That's metal. Mm. 
It's in the box. <laughs> Empty. Tchotchkes. Alright, that'll do her. Oh wait. A cord. Some silverware. And a tree. Oh, we said not to open that door, right? Yep, we did. Don't open the door. Oh, that was not cool. Why are you trying to dent my car? Why are you trying to do that? We're in a space already. What is that all about? Oh yeah. No, that's not closed. Okay. You're gonna come in here like so with the Christmas stuff. you back on here on top and we're good to go let's continue and hopefully we can find something to fill the rest of these little voids in here I'm not feeling very heavy today just very full we're gonna take a look here unfortunately I don't know that I can get this one today because of the way that I'm packed unless these things break down easier than I suspect we're gonna take a look though I really just wanted to kind of find out what was in these. Yeah, it's feeling very clothy. Hmm. Might have something here though. No. That was like a propane tanker marker. Let's see here. So these have hex bolts in them. We could just do the good old college try as well. See if they come apart this way. <clears throat> Try to get it for that. <clears throat> That'll go the whole way with the car about. Morning. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> all right. Back on that street right there, Ivy Brook. We've got ourselves a stove. Oh gosh. Blinded by the light. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is the old school ones. So <laughs> Look at all the copper. hoping just for the little cheaters that just wing right off but we're not gonna get those today but they're giving us a nice little nice little strips of copper so we'll take them come on work with daddy here come on work with me see I brought the totally wrong tools for this because it's not what I expected man the sun beating off that mirror is hot 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 I'm gonna have to go back and get better tools. Cause this one's not gonna not help me very much. Or we can just struggle through it. Or we can just struggle through it. Come on. Yes. Come on. Or we can just do that. 
Gosh, that mirror's hot. I know how an ant feels now when you try to melt them under a microscope. Oh my gosh. Put it this way so it doesn't break. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's hot. What else we got here? We got some extruded aluminum as well. Beautiful. Now that's the kind of stuff I was looking for. I was thinking, should I go to the yard? And I'm like, yeah, I can get that stove, but when you're getting copper and extruded aluminum, this ends up being kind of a stove of its own. Far less space. Oh my gosh, that smear was hot. Whoo! All right, let's get the AC, see if we can find anything else. And Christmas continues. <laughs> These are all the trees that weren't out last week. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be filled to the gills with trees. Oh my, tomato things are gonna cause problems, I guess. I knew they would, but it's open. There we go, now we've got a now we got a headliner guard. Oh, this is a nice tree too. Three parts. I'll bet you that's like a balsam fancy moon. Because that looks real. And that's a nice tree. That is a nice one. Super heavy too. Wow. I almost hate scrapping this one. Ah, don't kid yourself, you don't. <laughs> I'll guarantee you, they got a stand out here. I'll guarantee you they got this thing set up. And it's missing a light someplace. And so, they bagged it. So, trying to find that one light. And I can't blame them. I just put mine up and put the section that's out towards the back. It's all good. If you need to add a string of lights, add a string of lights. You probably can find it on the road. We are almost full of Christmas, but I bet we can find more. Looks like we got ourselves some more brass. We got ourselves a vacuum. Fire exit. Don't block. Morning. things over here actually. Both of them have copper on them too. Nice. Oh, it's got these old bolts though. What happened to the zip? Oh, these are, these are metal sinks. We can take the whole kit and caboodle. We can take the whole kit now. Oh, this one didn't have a faucet on it. We'll take that off at the yard. So we can take the whole sink of these ones. We can take the whole thing. If we can't get it off the yard, we'll just take it home. And this one's just going to the straight to the yard.
Woo. Let's see, do we want this pole? I want this pole. I think we do. Well, he's not very heavy, but we'll save him from the landfill at least. Oh, this back wasn't closed anyways. Just saved myself a walk back. Ooh. Come on, chair, work with me here. Here we go. Alrighty, uncle. I am out of space. I just had some things I couldn't fit in there. I'm just gonna finish running, jogging through this neighborhood, see if there's any. Um, oh, <laughs> I know I can out here, look at that. You know what that is, folks? That's fan. Ah, it's a dehumidifier. That's, I'm gonna call it, I'm calling it a fan. Why, oh, it is a fan, see, it's got a fan speed on it. And I am a fan of fans. You got it, folks. Smash that thumbs up, that's your cue. But I'm headed to the yard, and I'm gonna come back and see if I can grab that stove before the garbage man gets it. Because we are filled up. But I did get the fan. Nacho stuff, fan of fans. Smash the thumbs up. Hopefully I get back in time to get that stove before the G-Man gets it. Alrighty. So I made it to the yard and I made it back before the G-Man got this stove. <laughs> How good is that? It's definitely seeing better days. It's <clears throat> got like, Stuff written on it. Off button, on button. Look at this. See it? It's pretty crazy. It's like push here to make me work. Oh, you're heavy. Okay. Hopefully, this was for not. Wasn't even a struggle to get it in there. How nice is that? Woohoo! Now let's keep running this neighborhood and see if we can fill her up for run two. What do you know? What do you know? We still got TVs out here. <laughs> oh, this looks like an outdoor TV. It's pretty dirty. There's an indoor TV there. Filthy. Filthy animals. But I'm guessing it was an outdoor TV. And since TVs are not supposed to be outdoors, it stopped working because it got wet somehow. Well, not somehow. It got wet from being out of that. So it eventually stops working. That stove takes up a lot of space. And that's plastic. We have all kinds of stuff out here. It's gonna be steel and too big, but look at all these screens. What they call these screens in a heartbeat. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Wow, the whole kit and caboodle of screens. They, they replaced the whole house. They're not much, but they slowly, slowly add up, as long as you clean them up. As long as you slowly, slowly clean them up. And they're flat, which is pretty, pretty cool. So they don't kill you for space. Those chairs and that bench over there, on the other hand, are gonna not be fun. I hate leaving them because I'm late enough, not sure what else is going to be out here, so I'm going to have to take a look. See how heavy they are. 
That bench is cool. I don't even know if I can fish the fifth bench even if I was empty. That bench is really cool. Let's double check and make sure we're talking about steel here. So I think we are. Might be able to squeeze a stool or two in the side. Yeah, we are all steel, aren't we? Yeah, it's that bench. I'd love to take the bench. I would. What if we got in here? Some shred. Real shred. I might take one of them chairs. I might take one of them chairs. Let's see here. Maybe not. I am very, 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 very limited space. I'm not gonna hurt myself, sorry guys. I wish I had a trailer, I'd take all of you. One, two, three, four, chairs, nacho, zero. Not a home run, but it's a something. And we'll take her, look at that. Is that a table or a painting? It's a painting, it's pretty nice looking. A double umbrella. We'll take them both. Have to take a peek see at the yard and see if these are gonna be of the steel or the aluminum variety. This one says aluminum sun, so I'm thinking that one might be aluminum. A lot of times these are. This one looks kind of steely. But we'll find out. We're just packing and, and getting because it's late in the day. We're gonna run out of time here, so we're just trying to get full again with stuff that fits well. Oh, it pains me to leave those chairs behind. It really does, it does, it does, it does. Santa, I've been a good boy this year. Please bring me a trailer. All right, I saw a little ironing board. Some tchotchkes to Take a gander with just to make sure we're uh, we have some Christmas too. What are these? Oh, there's little bread, bread guys. We'll take the Christmas. We'll take that. That looks like about it, folks. A lot of boxes today. Boxes of boxes of boxes. But. A little something something. This is like a tabletop. Tabletop iron and board. Still got our tomato racks. Gonna grow us some tomatoes this year. <clears throat> this thing interests me, so I came up here and this is just a thing full of old gourds. But there is some wire shelving hiding in the grass. We will take that. That'll be fitted in here. Uh, we'll probably have to open up to do that. Probably have to open up to do that. Oh, oh! I'm looking at myself a lizard in the process. I've taken a lot of lizards to the yard. That's the shelf right there. Now we just gonna fill this hole. We'll be golden. I uh, done seen me some car parts. And I hope the box has car parts too. But struts and plus. Those are the struts, I guess. So we've got ourselves a couple of rotors, a couple of struts, a couple of shocks. This is the good stuff. It all starts to add up. Come on. Get off my shirt. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love finding car parts. Car parts are always nice and chunky. <coughs> oh my gosh, those ones are heavy. Oh, wow, I am 
glad I came back. I would have been disappointed to have missed those. All right, we still got room. Let's keep stuffing. We've been finding just the perfect size stuff. Just the perfect size stuff. Look, it's like, oh, I need something about this size. Boom, there she is. We'll take them. Oh, don't forget the cord. Oh. You will take it. Stereo, stereo, stereo. You go up front. Right. You can have a two full load day. Is it possible? I hope so. Because we are doing good. We still have not even heard the G Man yet. Which means we keep running till we're full or till we get caught in one of the two. Something hiding in the grass here. And you'll have to deal with me. My battery has told me that he's running low. He's getting tired from filming so much. So if I lose you, I will definitely come in for the wrap up. But we're getting pretty full. So, I mean, we're not full, full, but um, we're doing all right for a second run, seeing that it's this late in the afternoon. So, for some reason, you don't get all of it. I apologize in advance. Oh my gosh, this is like the pop-up that fought me the other day. I'm going to win. Get in there. No, you will not win. Ha ha, you're mine. No, don't mess stuff up. There you go. I tamed the beast. Yep, and this is exactly why we didn't take those bar stools. Because we got ourselves a couple of keyboards, TV set. This might be a drum machine. Nope, it's a keyboard. And if we had those bar stools in here, that would have been 100% no de bueno. This TV has aluminum brackets that holds it on there. This is a lot like that one we had the other day. Panasonic. It wasn't a Panasonic, but these brackets are aluminum, which tells me the inside also is probably aluminum, which tells me this one's gonna have to come back to the house. But figure out how to get her in here first. Come on. This might be a front seater. Ooh. It's gonna be a front seater. Ooh. That's what happens when you get that stove. Can't load from the back anymore. Get copyright. I'm going to turn it off because I turned my radio on somehow. So I'll be back at the next stop. Oh, there it is. I misplaced a glove. I was sitting on it. How you doing? How much, man? Ooh, scrapping, scrapping. <laughs> I'll. Not going away. I'm not allowed to go to waste. <laughs> I was down. 
I was downtown the other day. He's like, I could have swore the president pulled up. I'm like, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Dance with who you brought, man. <laughs> Now I got a big old door on there. You'll be kidding me. Oh. Come on now. We won't have to break that door down. This ain't gonna fit in here the way it's supposed to. This is a four fan. That's right, I'm a fan of fans, remember. Smash that thumbs up if you haven't already because it's fan time there might be five fans in here oh my god Got some lights in here six fans oh that's the light five fans Whew. We're working today, man. We're working today. Whew. Well, there was a microwave here. Because there's the tray. Stay up there already. I don't know if I get to my tools. <sighs> Bless you. Cut it here since I'm low on batteries. I don't want to kill it I'm trying to take this door apart. It's going to take a bit. So I'll save it for another pickup or the wrap up. See you in a bit. Alrighty, it's time to wrap up. I know, a slightly different wrap up than normal, but my, my GoPro was dead. It had nothing to work with. So I figured I would do that once I got home. So what I've done is I've posted um, my checkout tickets. The top one is the first two shred with uh, the miscellaneous, uh, and the second one is when I ran back for my third load. So I did go back a third time. I did find a dryer. My uh, uh, weigher lady is still looking for a dryer. I dropped one off for her, I don't know, maybe a month ago, and it didn't get to her. So she said she's still looking for one. So I saw one and I said, I'm going to run back and see if I can get it. And I was able to get it for her. So um, that uh, was that last drop off for her. So uh, today's total, the first load was uh, just shred. So we had 580 for 39.20. Then we ran back out and found another 440 pounds for 3080. 
um, the electric motors that are on here was 54 pounds. I forgot those there on Friday. He's like, did you leave this bucket here? I'm like, yep, because I was waiting for you to zero out the scale and I guess we never put them in there. So $7.56 from actually from last week. Um, we had 11 pounds of Christmas wire for 308. We had some heavy iron for a dollar eighty, and some light iron for uh, five forty. We kept a ton of ceiling fans. We uh, kept uh, those two doors that I found first thing this morning. Um, we have two computers that we have torn down. We have a TV we have to tear down. We have an air conditioner we have to tear down. So we have a lot of miscellaneous stuff we kept. But that first uh, ticket was eighty seven eighty four. And the second ticket was uh, just really uh, was a an edger and the dryer for 140 pounds for 980. So our total today was 87 plus we'll call it 10 bucks would be 97. So we'll call it just shy of 100 bucks today. Not too bad. Again, we worked our butts off today. We we basically went from uh, the time we dropped the kids off till it was time to pick them up. And uh, then we spent the afternoon breaking things down that'll get turned in later this week. But we had a lot of fun doing it and it was a gorgeous day. Um, we ran uh, a lot more different areas than we normally get to because we did go out for the second run, um, which was nice. And it's also nice to see that a lot of stuff was still out there later, which tells me um, that I can do a second load on Monday if I choose to. Um, because uh, the guys, I didn't see the garbage guys till the tail end of the day. So remember, it's nacho stuff, but that doesn't mean you can't turn someone else's trash into some cash. So until tomorrow, be safe, be happy, and I'll catch you all then.